Okay, 12 rounds reloaded. Stars Randy Orton with a full head of hair. That was the weirdest part was getting to see him with like short black hair. He's a paramedic. Well, he ends up being in the right place at the right time but does the wrong thing. Just like the first one. Right place, wrong, right place, right time, does the wrong action. <clears throat> then a year goes by. I'm not giving any spoilers. Because if you've watched the first one, it's virtually identical. Just a different character and different rounds to get through. And they build the layers on top of it. It was weird seeing this be an R-rated film. And I was like, okay. Because the language, for the most part, is very PG. PG-13. At this point, about halfway through the film, we're like, oh, now I see why this is rated R. When Randy begins to pretty much cuss people out. He works well enough as an action star. This is more drama than straight up action. But he does an adequate job. Especially when he gets more into the aggressive action star role. Action, action star moments. The film itself is... If you liked the first one, this is a little bit grittier because it's Orton, not Cena. It's not bad. This is your WWE action film. You know, the, the first one's not identical. I'm looking more forward to the third one. I think Ambrose would probably be fantastic in these sort of action films. <laughs>